Like many other churches, we put our drummer behind a drum shield. We all wanted to set her free, but couldn't bear the loudness of the drums. Now, when my church went mobile for a short season, I wanted to simplify setup as much as possible. This meant ditching the drum shield and the sound panels because the less to load in, the better. Of course, the first thing I thought of was electronic drums, but my drummer absolutely refused, and I don't blame her. The only other option was to figure out how to make the drums quieter, so we purchased different drumsticks to try, and here's what we found. This video is brought to you by Behringer X32 Mastery, the fastest way for church sound techs to master the X32. And with a team license, you can enroll unlimited team members now and in the future. Finally, everyone will be on the same page. Visit x32.church or click the link in the description to learn more. To be honest, when I first saw the Lidwish Solution sticks, I thought, what the heck? But you never know until you try, so I ordered a pair. And when they came in, I was nervous to even show my drummer. I knew she'd give me that look, you know, the one people give you when you're acting crazy. But she willingly decided to give them a shot, especially if it meant she wouldn't have to play electronic drums. So let's do a pros versus cons comparison, starting with the good stuff. The volume of the drums was brought down by at least half. These drumsticks flex a little, so the energy from each hit is partially translated into the stick, resulting in much quieter drums. Now, to a drummer, the bounce of the stick is super important. I knew if these didn't bounce, they wouldn't work out, but they do, and quite well. Also, the drums sound just as good mic'd as they do with regular sticks. And of course, you'll need to adjust gain to compensate for the volume difference, but the toms can still sound like rolling thunder and the snare nice and punchy with these sticks. All right, now the bad news. These sticks are super light compared to regular drumsticks, so it takes a while to get used to how these feel in your hands. But after a few hours of playing, they'll feel somewhat normal. And getting cymbal hits to sound right takes practice. The beautiful tings and pings you get from lightly hitting cymbals with regular drumsticks is pretty much unachievable with the Lidwish Solution sticks. You still get the ting, it just sounds a little different. And when it comes to crashing a cymbal, it takes time to figure out what part of the stick to use. But once you get it figured out, they work just fine. Now there are other solutions to fix loud drums, but the Lidwish Solution Sticks probably reduce the volume the most. Nevertheless, I have a video on some other solutions you can try, because what works for one church may not work for another, and I'll include a link in the description to that video. And if you have questions, drop them in the comments, I'd be glad to answer. If you'd like to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell so that we can let you know when a new video comes out. I'll see you next time.